Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing two discovery sets that I picked up. The first one is a commodity discovery set, but it's actually just for the scent milk. So I don't know if that would be called a discovery set. I guess I'm discovering the scent milk, but I do really want to try gold next because I think it's supposed to be similar to gentle fluidy gold. Why did I have so much trouble saying that? And floral street so you guys if you have been sleeping on this brand you haven't heard about this brand stay tuned because it's actually a very underrated brand in my opinion and i'm excited to delve into it so first of all if you guys don't know how commodity works they basically have three different levels of a fragrance so they have the original so the personal is represented by a minus so it's just a lighter version just a more of a skin scent and then the plus is supposed to be a bolder version so yeah they are all supposed to be the same scent essentially but just lighter or bolder but the notes change you know like it changes from expressive which is the original to personal to bold so that makes me think like if you're adding a wood note or something that it would smell different anyway so let's start off with the expressive one and right off the bat i want to say this reminds me of reminiscence Jage. um it comes in a white bottle you guys, these are virtually the same fragrance. Um, I haven't tried it on my skin, so I can't go that far. But yeah, this is a powdery, sweet Jordanian almond. I really do like it, but for me, I don't really recommend buying it because these are a little pricey. The bottle is gorgeous, but it's a skin scent. It doesn't project. It won't last you long, but it is good for bedtime, I suppose. This one maybe does have some like woodiness and it is interesting. Like when you smell it, it's like, mm, it smells like an oak. It does have a woodiness to it that is different from, uh, not Guimauve, from Drage, but it's not enough of a difference for me to care, you know? Then we go into Personal, which is going to be lighter. And I guess it is lighter. It, it's kind of hard to smell. This one smells woodier to me. I almost go anosmic to it. And then we have the bold version. And yeah, it does amp up the wood a little bit so as i was going through that i hope i put on screen the differences between the notes um to me i i mean i think the whole point is that you pick one that is your favorite and you buy that one the whole point is not for you to have each and every one because if you got full bottles of each and every one there's barely a difference um i like this concept i guess it's innovative but i don't know how i feel about this brand and their bottles i mean maybe just the aesthetic is not for me um i bought this with my own money i did like the packaging and whatever um again i like that they're doing something different i guess it has like a minimalist vibe but i'm also just not that impressed with the scents i was kind of expecting more okay now on to floral street which is what i'm most excited to talk about this is okay what's the name of this discovery set i don't know if it has a name but i got one with wonderland peony sunflower pop electric rhubarb arizona bloom and wild vanilla orchid there is another one with some of their other fragrances but i was more interested in this one honestly i mainly wanted to smell wonderland peony and i wanted to just get a sample of that but i figured this is a good deal it was 12 dollars, and um i got it from nordstrom and it shipped super fast nordstrom always does so yeah, I really recommend you guys try it out. I think it had free shipping too, which is just like check, check, check. So yeah, and I had heard about Wild Vanilla Orchid, so I was curious about that too. So boom, let's get into it because I already have the testers right here. I guess I'll start with Electric Rhubarb. I think this is the first one I smelled. The whole brand is like deceiving, I think, because they say Floral Street and you think, oh my god, you know, what kind of house is this going to be? Is it going to be boring? Is it going to be just florals, like just floral perfumes? Absolutely not. They literally have really good um, scent profiles. Like it's not just that they have fruits, which I feel like a lot of their fragrances are fruity, um, but they also have just interesting, unique notes. Like for example, rhubarb. And I know rhubarb is in Delina and like a lot of fragrances, but I wouldn't say it's extremely common. This is beautiful. It's fruity. It's musky, so this does have, I think, marine and salty notes. I might be wrong. I'll put the scent profile up on the screen. Yes, there's rhubarb, but if you don't like Delina because of the rhubarb, you think it's too green, too tart, I would still try this out. Yes, it's tart, but it's not overwhelmed by the rhubarb. So again, like the name, don't let it throw you off. Like just because you don't like rhubarb, don't just throw it away. Like this is a beautiful, fresh, I do get that marine vibe, like aquatic vibe. 
but it's not overwhelming like if you don't like aquatic fresh fragrances like trust me there's fruits in here there's florals in here like they're all very well balanced that's something i love about this house so let's move on to sunflower pop and i did see yummy talk about this and a few other people and i think that was like the first time i heard about this brand is i saw this yellow bottle all of their bottles are stunning again i don't even think there's sunflower in this scent profile so again don't judge based off of that this reminds me of like carried away or hello beautiful or something like that from bath and body works yeah so if you know what i mean that's the kind of vibes i actually think that this note profile it didn't really make sense to me so it has bellini i think it had passion fruit um some people are saying it smells like miami glow it does not um people are comparing it to a lot of things but for me i get the bath and body works reference I don't know you guys I find it hard to describe like because that's what I love is when a fragrance is so well blended that it's very hard to pick apart the notes it's very hard to describe this again is fruity and bright and yellow is the perfect color for the bottle it's yellow it's happy it's uplifting I actually don't like those two bath and butter scents very much I feel that they took that and made it wearable or like made it better in a way so yeah honestly i wasn't even thinking about buying a travel spray of this but i might be inclined to do so okay next is arizona bloom and the name of this i don't even understand the relevance to what it actually smells like so this is stunning so there is this trend of like soft creamy coconut musk and i've been seeing it a lot i saw it with coconut cove by skylar i've been seeing it in Coconut Fizz by Galan. I've been seeing it everywhere. It's in Cloud, in my opinion. Okay, so this does remind me of Cloud. It does remind me of Thank You Next, but okay, not the pickles in Thank You Next, but just like that same creamy floral coconut that's so beautiful, just like soft, just lighter and fluffier. And I don't know if there's sandalwood in this, but it does remind me of Santal Complet. It reminds me of like all the coconuts I've smelled, but just somehow perfect in this i love it i love it so much i like it it does smell like all of those so it's not necessarily unique but it also is unique because it smells better than all of them and it has some sort of it factor well santal complete also has an it factor that gorgeous sandalwood this also has an it factor of just being just well balanced i think there's salt in there again i'll have the notes on the screen and i'll be like making comments because i clearly can't come up with things on the spot okay then we have wild vanilla orchid i was a little disappointed slash confused when i first smelled this because it's not what i expected again the name is so deceiving wild vanilla orchid where's the vanilla where's the orchid where's the vanilla orchid to me this is a bamboo blast and for that this is a dupe for poets of berlin so, okay, I don't know how, if they're like 100% exact on the skin. I haven't tried it out. I'm sorry. I have samples of both. Maybe, it, you know what, you guys? I'm going to work on a video talking about dupes. I'm a very, very harsh dupe critic. I don't know. Like, I just don't like call things dupes very often. Or I don't like say, like, if I say it smells kind of like something, then that's what I mean. But if I say like dupe, it's very serious. Anyway, but just as soon as I smelled it, I was like, this smells like something and I couldn't make up my mind. People in Fragrantica already caught on to it before me. It has like 32 thumbs up, four thumbs down. I promise you the bamboo at least is extremely similar. Yes, the notes are different. Poets of Berlin has lemon and blueberry. This doesn't have lemon and blueberry, I think. Again, I will try to do a wear test in a future dupes video, but for now, just know that's how I feel. Okay, so lastly is Wonderland Peony. And I used like half of the sample the first day I got it because I was like, tss, tss, like I needed it on me. The guava in this is stunning, stunning. It smells just like a realistic guava. The cotton candy is present. It's delicious. The peony, my favorite flower. It's there. Like, it's just so beautiful. If you want a girly, fruity floral, look no further try this out i don't see a lot of people talking about it i did see it senya talk about it say that it's a dupe for candy yum yum i can't speak on that but if it is true that's an amazing dupe because i know a lot of people didn't have the chance to try that including me or a chance to buy that it's so good it's so good that i bought a travel spray i had to i wanted a full bottle but you guys i'm at that point in my fragrance journey that i'm not doing that as much anymore i'm buying a full bottle if it's gifted if I get a good deal on it or something, but 
yeah like for example i bought a full bottle of this for what don't ask but i don't i don't want this i don't need this so now it's clutter and i did that when i found menagesty for a good deal at tj maxx and now i just have like tons of these bottles like oh just because it's affordable or, oh because it's cute like no and i've been seeing a lot of people on instagram expressing the same sentiments like we're only buying things we love now not that we like but that we love I'll be honest that I do love this, but I kind of want to give it the travel spray period of time. Do you know what I mean? Like, like with Burberry, her EDT, I'm also going to get the rollerball. This is not a rollerball, but Burberry is a flop and only has rollerballs. Um, I wonder if that's a marketing tactic. I'm only going to get the travel size of things for the most part moving on now because if I finish the travel spray, I can always get the full bottle. There is no need for me to lose my mind and get so many full bottles because I think... I think my collection has been like getting a little out of control. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I recommend pretty much everything from this Floral Street Discovery set. It just matters on your taste. My personal favorite are um, Arizona Bloom and Wonderland Peony, but I also love Sunflower Pop. I love Electric Rhubarb. I love, I actually don't love Wild Vanilla Orchid. That was my whole thing is that like, I'm not the biggest fan of Poets of Berlin. Like it's cute. Like I mentioned it in my Fruity Fragrances video, but I don't know. I just, whatever. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.